How you doing, my girl? Like, like I didn't even see you there. You you want to go catch some dinner or something? Okay, let me stop because I'm a, I'm a jerk, you know. Hey guys, you know you're wondering where are the new graphics? Well, here, boom, just like that, the new graphics. Well, I kind of want to test out a little something that I want to know that it actually updated. So I'm kind of graduating on my ice wizard just because I wanted to test this out. I kind of waited for my ice to get to this part where the new graphics comes into the game and I want to see the graduation thing. like did the teachers actually update during the graduation or did they just forget something i just want to know so kind of let's go inside to kind of test this out so let's go come on wiz you know you want to give it to me man you know you want to give it to me come on please tell me this is updated oh my god it actually is i'm waiting for this dude to load up how you doing mister Hello there, young wizard. I hope you're as excited as I am. I can barely keep my reading glasses perched on my bill. Such a landmark occasion. It's not every day we have a graduation ceremony at Ravenwood. In fact, I can't recall the last time it happened. I've had a cap and gown fitted just for you. Very elegant, I think. Put them on and step into the tapestry to reach the ceremony grounds. Headmaster Ambrose wants this day to be extra special. Many distinguished guests have come to congratulate you. Let's not keep them waiting. You're right, fam. You're right. So it's kind of a little laggish because I'm not really used to the, the update because clearly my computer cannot barely handle certain things. But hey, at least it can handle the it now. The gown is made from rich casimir, giving it a fine depth and soft luster sheen. And the cap is quite stately. All right, cool. So I kind of do want to know that they did they actually update this part. I know they didn't update this part because for some reason it just looks like it didn't even update. Kind of a little laggish because my computer barely can handle stuff. All right, let's test this out. Come on, Wiz. I know they had to update this part. It's loading a lot of stuff, man. Like... When I was in test room, it was really loading up slow. Like, it was just loading up a lot of stuff. And it just stays on the screen for the whole time until everything loads up. The grounds of Ravenwood are decorated like never before. Colorful banners are everywhere, and a colorful array of guests as well. Wow. It is indeed a most festive occasion, and to think it's all in your honor. That's actually pretty good, bro. They actually did update this part. Jesus Christ, the tree haven't even loaded up yet. I'm gonna wait for that tree to load up because clearly, like I said, my computer can barely handle certain things on this update, but they did update the graduation. Hey, Kings all kind of went in, bro. I promise you, when they was updating some stuff, they was updating some stuff. How you doing, my girl? Like, like I didn't even see you there. You you want to go catch some dinner or something? Okay, let me stop because clearly I'm a I'm a jerk, you know. Um, Jesus Christ! Some people still haven't loaded in yet. Oh, the trees haven't loaded up yet. Um, what else is haven't loaded up yet? This should have loaded up already. Oh, he he just loaded up as well. Um, looks pretty godlike. Oh, they loaded up now. Everything is go here. Everything is here. I was about to say gone, but no. Everything is still here. Welcome, wizard. It is my distinct pleasure to call you before Great Bartleby this day to recognize your remarkable list of accomplishments. You have not been with us at Ravenwood for very long, yet you have had a profound impact on the school. Indeed, across the spiral as a whole. All of the esteemed guests who have gathered here today are familiar with your shrewd mind, your heroic spirit, and noble virtue. None more so than your distinguished teacher, Professor Lydia Greyrose. What a pleasure today is, wizard. 
Although I am fond of all my precious little snowflakes, you've always stood out in my thoughts. You say that to all when wizards. You master the Colossus spell. I knew you would become a formidable ice wizard, and you've learned so much beyond that. Nor could I be more honored to have you amongst the Council of Light. You've... you've done me proud, my dear. Wizard, you've been more than an exemplary student. You've been an inspiration. And on a personal note, you've become a dependable friend. And so, without further ado, I hereby pronounce you a graduate of the Ravenwood School of Magic. With honors, even. Nice, bruh. I'm getting all this clapping like, oh my god, you know, like, they gotta bow down to me. <clears throat> uh oh. He's about to sneeze, bro. Oh, he didn't sneeze yet. Oh dear. Well, that was certainly unexpected. And did you see Bartleby? I've never seen him quite so frightened. Hmm. And there goes Professor Wu inside the world tree. Perhaps you should go and ask if she needs assistance. I hope you can discover the meaning of this. I'll be in my office. Okay. Is that it? All right, cool. So let's go inside the tree to try to see what happened, you know? All right. It's a little laggish. All right, there we go. Goodness gracious, what happened? It looks like that chill wind has made Bartleby sick. But how could that be? Bartleby's been standing here strong and healthy ever since, well, ever since the dawn of time. To see him sick, it worries me. I am ashamed to say I don't even know what ails him. Maybe Bartleby himself knows what's wrong. Would you be a dear and go ask him? Of course. Let's go talk to the tree. And I'm a little laggish, but I can handle it. Just give it a little time, and I think I'd be great. Okay, still loading up. I'm gonna wait for this to pop up first before I push that X button. Alright, there we go. Alright, Barlaby. How you doing, fam? Ooh, cold, such a cold wind, chills one right down to the roots. From whence did it come though? That is the cause for concern, a far, far away feeling, where land meets the sky. When land meets the sky. Oh, I do not feel well. Tell Ambrose, there is trouble where land meets the sky. Yes, where land meets the sky. <sighs> well, let's go tell him this quest, and then I think that is pretty much it on that part. Alright, let's go. This should be fast enough. Alright, cool. So, Ambrose, I got something big to tell you, bruh. Ah, uh, yes, our new graduate. I'm so proud. But uh, you look worried. Is everything all right? Bartleby is sick. Well, nothing like this has ever happened. It's quite disturbing. Chilling, even. That wind must have been very cold. What did Bartleby say, though? Hmm. Where land meets the sky. It sounds vaguely familiar. Perhaps something to do with Polaris? Of course. Polaris is one of the worlds that Old Cobb mentioned, is it not? Oh dear. Yes, we need to look into this. We should ask Professor Drake. Cyrus, of course. He spent some time in Polaris, as I recall. Go ask if Bartleby's words make any sense to him. Well, I think I'll call it a day. Because I'm pretty sure most people should know how the storyline goes. But yeah, I just wanted to let y'all guys know that they did update the graduate stuff. So, uh, peace my dude.